Close, everybody. Good day. Good to see you. Uh, this is Wednesday, if this is when you're playing this video, and I welcome you all back to the dojo with me today. Uh, we're going to be doing a lesson that is geared towards sparring movement. It is beginner sparring movement, but that is not to say that it's not challenging. I hope everybody's up to this challenge today, including me. Kyotsuke. Show me Ray. Os. Ray. Os. Altagana Ray. Os. Okay. Let's get ready to move. If you're not already warmed up, do a quick warm up. I'm gonna share the warm up that I did with you. Um, I kind of just videoed it impromptu. I didn't say anything while I was warming up and stretching. This is kind of one of my go-to warm ups, and it starts with a Pilates warm up that's called the Daily 100, and it gets a lot of heat going in your body so that you can move right into a stretch. Uh, follow along if you want, or skip right through it and do your own warm up. Okay, guys, let's have fun. Os. Okay, head and shoulders up, legs out at a 45 degree angle. Vigorously pumping your hands up and down. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Five. Exhale, two, three, four, five, rest. Okay, a little bit of side twisting here. Take a little uh, side stretch with a twist. Knees back in. Other side. Okay, we're going to get ready here for some butterfly style crunches for a set of 25. Okay, nice and easy. Hands aiming up between your knees. Make sure you're keeping like an apple underneath your chin so you're not putting any strain on your neck. Good, working through that set. Nice work. Good, and yame, pulling your knees inward. Good, one knee, the other knee, both knees. Nice, Superman style crunches coming up, legs straight up, fingertips straight up, pumping for 25 towards those toes. Good reach, good, working it up. Looks good. Good, and yame, pulling both knees in once again. Little stretching, one leg, then the other leg. Circling around, one knee. And the other knee. Opening up your hip. Good, pull both knees in again, and flip it over for a plank. This will be, if I counted it out right, everybody, holding nice and straight and strong, this will be about a 90-second plank. Good. Squeezing your legs together, breathing. Good. Pull your shoulder blades down your back. Push the floor away. Concentrate on your breath and holding strong. Good. Good, are you staying with me out there? Keep breathing, hold. Tight body, lift those hips, staying strong. Good, keep holding everybody, that's it. Almost there. Hold, no cheating. This is where you really have to push yourself. Don't quit. Exhale. 
and good push that back and walk your toes up good deep breath in soften your knees if you have to here good and walk those feet a little bit closer good forward fold good walk that back out one more time into what's a downward dog Good, lift that left leg up, get a good stretch up through the hip. You can bend your knee here if that feels good for you. Good, and switch legs. Very good, you guys. Good, stretch through the upper back, walk it in. Good, and rotate around, good. And now we're gonna press out our hips, one side. Use your palm, opposite hand. Pressing away, good, and press away. Good stretch for your lower back. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, nice job, everybody. Get ready, and you're gonna shake it off here. Once more to each side. Good, left side. Stretch down the center. Good, push that out one more time. Twist it out a little bit. Very good, all right, hopefully you're ready to get some good movement in, yummy. Okay guys, before we really get into the drill, I want to point out some uh, principles of punching and execution that are really important when you're uh, dealing with the target, which is all the time in martial arts. Your greatest reach is always going to be straight off your shoulder. So in this position, if I try to punch higher or lower, I actually can't reach the target. It becomes very important in understanding how to hit a low target or a middle area target. So if I'm standing up high like this and I try to punch a middle area target, I really can't reach it without leaning, and you never wanna lean. You always wanna keep your body up nice and straight and tall. So let's examine that. If I'm going to punch middle area on this target and reach it, I need to be down even with my shoulder to that target so that when I extend my body, I can reach the target versus standing up where I actually think I might be closer and not hitting it without leaning or compromising my position in some other way. Okay, so always understand your distance. The second movement we need to understand in our footwork is that to move forward, the first foot that moves is actually the one that's closer. Rather than when you step, this is a push off step. So we're going to be pushing off, throwing a jab, and then immediately following that with a cross. So really working to understand your distance. If you don't have a target that you're working with, that's okay. Just use an imaginary line across the floor or any kind of a demarcation so that you have a start and stop point. In this first one, and I'm actually on my opposite side back on this one for you guys, I'll switch feet shortly. I'm left side back in my sparring stance and I'm gonna jab first with my right hand. So as I push off, my forward leg accelerates in. Nope, I didn't reach my target, but it got my opponent to react. And now I drop into an open area and a middle area punch, looking for this nice line of execution. And I slide back to practice that again. Let's go 10 times. Jab, cross, and back. Knee. Sun. Chi. Go. Rope. Sitch, hotch, push off two, coop, stay sharp, two, good, switch feet, other side, push in, and then rotate, and back, push in, and then rotate, knee, sun, she, go, rope, sitch, Make sure your shoulders are relaxed. Nare. Shake that one off. Us. 
Oh, is everybody okay? In this next set, we're gonna reverse the order of the punches. I know that that seems like not a big change, but you really have to concentrate in this one how you're gonna move your feet first. So in this instance, I'm going to move that same way that I did for my reverse punch in the first set, but now I don't quite reach the target. To get my jab in the distance, I extend my stance and strike. The importance with the jab in this position is that I want a good timing so that my foot and my hand hit at the same time. That's gonna give that front hand some added power. Let's practice. So, drive in, extend. Drive in, extend. Let's put it together. Itch, knee, sun, she. So this one's not quite hidden. Then I follow up. Go, rope. Sitch, hotch, know your distance, coo, ju. Take your time going through that set. You don't have to keep up with my pace. Let's switch sides. We're going for 10, work at your own pace. All right, let's figure this out. Move it in, close, that's a little too close. I gotta move my foot, that's it. Be ready to go, springy legs. One, two, up, move the foot. Yeah. Dude, that was trickier on that side for me. We all have a silly side. Good job, finish working through that set. Close guys, I just went back and looked at the video of that last set I did and I saw my mistake. So I wanna work on that with you guys. We're gonna do another 10 from our right side back. On this one where we're throwing cross jab, don't really accelerate on that cross, don't really throw it and you don't wanna plant the foot. So you kinda of keep it hovering, one, two. So the foot doesn't really land on the cross, it lands on the jab. So I'm gonna work on that and you work on it with me, okay? Here we go. So we're gonna Just faking it, right? Jack cross. One more. Ah, oh, I didn't throw the fake. One more. Yeah, good job on that. That's a little bit of tricky footwork. Keep practicing. Also, everybody, this next movement involves two reverse punches. So I'm gonna practice first for my right side back sparring stance. I actually fight back both sides. Some techniques I'm better with right side back, some I'm better with my left side back. You really do wanna to try to practice each one. So in this drill, we're gonna slide in reverse and then step in reverse. I will be working against my target. Again, you don't have to have a target, uh, but it does help learn and measure a distance if you have a demarcation, some sort of mark on the floor, a pillow, something. Okay, so getting nice and low in the leg. I wanna drive, and then I wanna step. Let's try that again, measuring off your distance. One, two, don't stub your toe. One, two. Okay, let's do that about five or six more times. Hand and foot, timing. Hey! Good job.
job on that one. Gaksuki, Gaksuki. Os. Okay, and this next one we're gonna to start to add in some kicking. This will be a my Gary dropping in to an oizuki, oizuki being a lunge punch. So I wanna be careful here working with my target uh, in that I don't wanna land on it. It's one thing if you're working with a person that's going to move. It's another thing if you have a bag that's not going to, so don't kick that with your toe. Make sure your bag's in the right position so that when you drop in close, you do want this punch to be straight off your shoulder. Uh, anything higher or lower will once again affect your distance uh, to your target and maybe jeopardize those toes. Okay, so from a good sparring stance position, I'm gonna drive in with my front kick, drop in with my oizuki. Good, so I can't start on top of this and just kick punch, that's not the same thing. So even if you're not working with a target, once again, move back from your place of execution, kick and drop in. Move back, here we go, itch. Knee. Timing, sun. Together, she. Go. Rook. Sitch. Back. Hutch. Coop. Two. Good, switch feet. that foot. Oz. Good job. Oz, everybody, this next setup faints or fakes the front snap kick and follows up with that strong lunge punch once again. So as before, we really want to make sure that as the kick drops, there's not a delay between when the hand hits. So in this instance, I'm going to go right side back in my sparring stance. And this is a good setup if someone is trying to maybe attack your forward leg that you lift and right away counterattack. So you don't have to practice it fast. Just work on a good reaction and good timing. Let's do 10. Itch. Knee. Sun. She. Tight fist. Go. Rope. Sitch. Hotch. Coop. Jew. Switch feet. Same thing on the other side. Lift. Drop in. Itch. Knee. Stop. She. Go. Move around a little bit. Broke. Stitch. Hotch. Coop. Chew. Good job on the fake lift. Punch set. Os. Os. This next setup is a fake front kick still. You could contact with it, uh, but really the idea would be to get your opponent to drop a hand to open up for a roundhouse kick to a higher area, particularly to the head. So in this, you wanna keep the knee up nice and high, bring up that front kick, and then flip it over to that roundhouse kick before setting it down. So you're not really extending that kick, you're just lifting the knee and then pivoting around right to that front kick. So it's kind of the lift that Hanchi would say, don't lift your roundhouse kick that way. Okay, let's practice 10 of those. Not too slow. Make sure you're keeping the knee up nice and high. Keep practicing that. Well, everybody, 
Another way to really practice your good, strong punching line that we've been talking about in today's lesson, which is directly off your shoulder, whether you have to drop down low to get there or whether you're punching a higher target, is to do a little resistance on your practice. So I have a very lightweight resistance band here. I'm gonna place, I'm using my Wave Master obviously with the top off of it. I'm gonna position myself so that I don't have a lot of resistance to start with, but I have to really work to keep this extending. Tucking my elbow in nice and tight. Good extension. Good, drop it in. Now I'm gonna to start to really rotate my hip as well. Rotate that line. Pull the other hand back. Good. All right, I'm gonna switch up to the other side. Good. Get in position, get in the band set. Good. Pinch. Knee. Pulse. Sheet. That's it, use the hip. Go. Rook. Five more, how about five more? Two, five more. Itch, knee, san, reach, she, go. Good job, everybody. So just another thing that you can do uh, to practice your power with your punching, just a little improv with a simple band. Hope you really enjoyed today's practice. Remember, sparring, hands up, feet apart, Knees bent. The big three. Hope everybody's doing well. Have a great day. Us.